Going to start past three ten. Bushes are gone. <laughs> I don't think our little tractor will get through the snow very easily. It's a bit too deep. I don't think our car will get through anything either. Even a Jeep would struggle through this. I don't think anything would struggle. The tractor was struggling to close the snow. because the layer is pretty damn big <laughs> but if we turn around we were actually very lucky because a big tractor came today and cleaned our road from the neighboring farms have like a gigantic tractors actually wanted to film it but it was a bit of a misunderstanding with David I thought he's gonna scoop the neighbor's road but he scooped ours and I came out way too late to film it well, I'm out of breath <laughs> But yeah, our road is cleaned, so we can go. Sorry if I'm screaming too much, but it's so windy that I have the feeling that you cannot hear, so I'm sorry if I'm screaming and if wind noises go. But before we go, we have to face one challenge that we cannot avoid, which is feeding animals. And yesterday, actually, David, as you saw, he scooped the path to the pew pews, and in the morning was already snowed by clothes, so that's how fast it has been snowing. So we're actually extremely lucky and thankful that the guy cleared up the road for us pretty much just for us because that road is only for us so he took his time from cleaning the other roads to clean ours and uh, yeah we were very 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 thankful otherwise we could have survived we could wait more or less <laughs> until he has the time to do it but we're very thankful for it so yeah let's go feed animals and get everyone in the car to go and we have to hurry up, so I don't think we're gonna film the feeding. You saw it yesterday, it's the same struggle, just a bit taller snow. Because we have to hurry up, because it's still snowing and blowing, so we have to hurry up so this, the road doesn't blow back closed. And uh, yeah, so let's feed the animals and get going. Let's go. Okay, that is good night for them, even though it's morning. They're going to sleepy and we have to go 
put the water for rest and then we're getting ready and going to Riga. Yeah. We're gonna come back pretty early tomorrow, so we're gonna feed everyone uh, tomorrow. So there's not like uh, any gaps at all. It's just gonna be a bit later tomorrow. So not a problem at all. Uh, not like they need to be extra food, uh, not at all. So gonna be perfectly fine. We did give them a bit of extra just yeah. to have, but uh, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna just feed them a bit later. Yeah. It's so, just for one day. It's not that cold, so the water doesn't freeze. That's the best part, because water is the problem. So it's not that cold in there, the water doesn't freeze. It was perfectly fine, both the pupus and the chickens. So that's good. Let's go to going. But we're here, we, can't, we arrived exactly before a bit of the darkness and uh, yeah, we're living right into the center and with free parking, which is very good. And we were also allowed to take our animals, which was a big problem because most of the hotels don't allow them and we also wanted to stay right in the middle so we can walk everywhere and we also want free parking. So yeah, perfect apartment and uh, yeah, I guess we are gonna see you when we pick up my mom. We'll see how much we're gonna film, if we're gonna film a bit the Christmas market. We will see, so yeah, see you later.
arrived all safe and it's all good Thankfully the guy that scooped our snow the day we left also scooped it the next day a few hours before we arrived So it had already blown over uh, Otherwise we would not go through it was fully blown over in the morning the next day And he scooped it and it all again blew over in like a few hours So luckily we were able to just drive through it You know we plow through the snow that's blown out over and we're home and safe and uh, yeah, it's still a lot of snow, so we're gonna see what we're gonna do in these days. It's really, really cold, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. We're gonna see you next time. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed the Christmas market, because we're planning to go tomorrow. So let us know if you like the Christmas market. Bye-bye. Let's go inside, start fire, and warm up.